Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1169, where we have 40 moves to collect four ingredients, which will get us our 40,000 points. This is my fifth try, and this is a special dedication to Oz. So we've got our ingredients right here. This one's poised to kind of fall onto one of the shelves, and there are two other shelves we need to avoid. We want to bring the ingredients down into one of these areas, but we have a limited number of moves we can make. Any moves we make down here aren't really going to help too much because there's no candy to repopulate this area. But I wanted to see this conveyor belt tick over and make a special here and open everything up. So I thought, uh, why not make that move? It'll still take off a layer for us. But we have to crash through a lot of this other stuff before we can get the two halves to communicate. Now notice we have a conveyor belt system working. Um, and this is on a, a closed circuit. It just keeps coming back round. Here's my opportunity to switch this over now. It's on the conveyor belt. It's going to be cycling through for a little while, presumably. Unless... <gasps> no, I want to be able to use these together, but there's a bit of luck involved in this board because when I don't have any choice on the moves I make, uh, there's not really any strategy to employ. It's all luck. The only strategy I have is do I take out orange or red or purple. And I'm going to go ahead and take out red because this is poised nicely to cut through more of this frosting, and that's a hard thing to get through. Now we've got the chocolate spawning, and it's going to consume that special that was just magically created. Oh well, we'll be playing tug-of-war with that quite a bit, that chocolate spawner, so I'm not too worried about it. But we just need to break through this frosting as quickly as possible and get our ingredients through. Now speaking of ingredients, I like to drop them this one off on this side if I'm able because it has a, a shorter route to take once I get through this frosting and onto the conveyor belt. Here the ingredients on this side have the danger of falling into this pit and then if they don't they might fall into this pit and there's half the danger if I make it over on this side or even less than half if I bring it um, past that danger point. So it's a bit of a struggle for me to decide what to do I'd like to bring this through, oh, but I didn't get to, so it's no longer a struggle. But I might be able to, ooh, this is actually perfect because it should just drop straight down and I won't have to worry about the conveyor at all. Now I need to punch through this frosting. Notice this is unblocked. If a chocolate grows here, it won't stay unblocked for long. Ooh, what can I do? That, oh, that would have been a great spot to detonate that. Oh, well. Okay, so that one ingredient is already gone out of the way. We just need to punch through the frosting. This is looking like the luckiest board I've had uh, the entire game, so I'm feeling quite hopeful about this. Looks like this is the board I need. Let's stack up the green over here. Uh, nope. <laughs> I was feeling hopeful just a second ago. Ooh, let's put these together. Nope. <laughs> these conveyor belts, they just kind of drive me crazy. All right, let's punch through. Now I do need to punch through this one before this one, presumably, because this one... Uh, is going to take a little bit longer to travel that path. So as I can open this up, I will. I don't want this to fall. I don't want this to fall. Using this with blue right now would be a very bad choice. But using it with red wrapped is a pretty awesome choice. I do have the danger of this falling through, but I don't think I'll be able to get through all of the frosting. Uh, so I don't think that's going to happen. And if it does, I'll just have to like I moved this one over, just kind of deal with those circumstances. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be my lucky board here. I'm so excited, I don't even care what's happening up here. Which is bad, I should contemplate each move. I just see so easily now uh, the success of this level that I just want to get done with it. So I just need to drop this down one. The problem is if I drop it down more than one, then I've got another licorice to get through. 
but here we go. This should work. Oh, wait, that was going the wrong direction. I don't know why I'm taking so long. I have all of these specials I could be using. I just don't want to waste the opportunity since it's taken me uh, so many turns to get here. And I can see... Yeah, that's going to drop down low. That's okay, I'm going to drop it down low because I can get it all the way through. All right, so I could see that if I were just patient, I could do it. Now, sometimes I'm, I don't have enough turns to be that patient, but I saw that it was an opportunity on the board, and I just wanted to be assured that I was going to be successful there. If you're still struggling, don't forget you can bring in boosters to help you solve it even a little more quickly than I did. But to me, any time under 10 turns on a board isn't too bad. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.